Welcome back to GMA and today's weekend download the disturbing findings on antibiotics abuse. A new study found nearly 25% of antibiotics prescriptions are unnecessary in the United States. The study looked at more than 15 million antibiotic prescriptions. Joining us now to talk about this important issue is ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton. And it is very important, and yep. people get confused on this, but you're going to walk us through three ways to understand the issue, That's and the right. first is bugs. Right. Explain. So in medical school, what we call this bugs and drugs, and we're talking about the organisms that cause infections. When you talk about writing antibiotic prescriptions, you really want to focus on the difference between bacterial infections and viral infections. Now, let me show you what I mean. If you go head to toe and you talk about common infections, let's say pink eye, most of the time in adults, this is mostly viral. Throat infections, same thing. Most of the time, it's viral. Cough, bronchitis, most often viral. But then you switch over bladder infections. Sexually transmitted diseases can be either bladder infections and skin infections, most often bacterial. So the key here is figuring out which is the infection caused by whether it's bacterial or viral, and then picking the right antibiotic to treat that infection. And that can be difficult for patients and doctors. Uh, the second thing you say is drugs. What do you mean by that? Antibiotic resistance. We've heard about it. This is not the body becoming immune to a drug. This is the organism becoming immune to the drug. And this is a dire and urgent circumstance. We are running out of antibiotics to treat infections that are absolutely deadly, so people need to put this on their radar. And this third one here, a bit outside of medicine, but you say it's very important to factor it in. Agriculture and pharma. Yeah, you can't talk about this issue with, with, without talking about those two things. Number one, agriculture. Most of our antibiotics in this country are used in animals to promote growth, to prevent infection, and to treat infection. Most experts say this is a complex issue, and it's not about completely removing them. It's about using less. And pharma, there's no money in the development of antibiotics, we need to develop better drugs or we will not have them when we need them. Very good point. Alarming study. Need to pay close attention. Dr. Ashton, as always, thank, thank you, you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.